Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to convert this normal multimeter to a rechargeable one. The reason behind this is this. Because this is a low battery problem we always have faced. At some point of time, you always have faced this problem. So, first of all, I'm going to open this multimeter. Let's unscrew it and see what's inside it. And here we found 9 volt battery. It's an unrechargeable one. Now first I've opened this battery from the case. I have successfully disconnected. Now I'm gonna use this 3.7 volt lithium ion battery it is a rechargeable one so this is a battery which I, which we are going to use to power up this multimeter and hence you can see this is a 3.7 volts so it is not capable of driving it so we are going to use boost converter one of these boost converter we are going to use so that we can boost up the voltage and this is TP4056 module which is we are going to use to recharge batteries now as you can see battery is of 3.7 volt and we need 9 volt to run our multimeter now let's use the boost converter first adjust the voltage around 9 volts so I'm gonna use it 8.5 volts that's sufficient to run a multimeter now first disconnect let's test it using alligator clips I'm gonna connect it the multimeter power input always remember the polarity always check it and then you can see it's working now I'm gonna paste using hot glue gun I'm gonna paste TP4056 on the battery and solder connect it to the battery positive one and negative one now as you can see it is properly connected after that I cut this now connect connect this to multimeter input pins to the output of boost converters and boost converters V input pin is connected to the battery uh, to the TP4056 uh, TP4056 output pin I'm gonna make the small hole for wires using soldering iron take out the wires tighten the screw stick the battery on its place solder the wires using a hot glue gun we're gonna place the place the place the battery properly and after that now let's just taste test it and you can see it's perfectly working now it become a DIY rechargeable multimeter Thanks for watching.